Hey everybody, Cobra DBS here, and it's, um, it's time for a pickups video. Um, I'm kind of trying to think back when the last time I did a pickups video was. Um, and I can't remember. It was probably a Sega Saturn unboxing or something like that. But, but um, in that being said, honestly, um, the amount of stuff that I got in that time is um, is not very much. But I got some cool stuff. And um, a, an interesting note, and I just thought of this. I think this is the first pickup video I've ever done in the history of um, my entire channel that has not had a single cartridge-based game in it. No joke. So, we'll go ahead and get started. And we'll get started with the big thing. Um, you've probably already uh, seen this, but <clears throat> I ended up, I did get a Wii U um, on launch day. I'm not going to say too much about it. Um, I've done an unboxing and a review. Um, go ahead and check out that review, actually, because um, obviously I would promote anybody watching a video of mine, but, but that video actually turned out much better than, um, than I kind of thought it would. It was sort of a spur-of-the-moment thing. I didn't really think I was going to do a review, um, but I ended up doing one, and I think it turned out nice. Um, I go through the, um, the operating system, the look of the system, the controller, which is sitting right here, actually, um, the uh, games, all six games that I have, and uh, so go ahead and check that out um, after after this video, of course. Um, Alright, so let's just dive into it. I mean, that the reason that this pickups video is rather small is mostly because of this. I mean, um, that was a $350 purchase. I mean, you know, I kind of had to focus on that for a little bit. But I did, get, I did get other things, and I'm going to have to move them, move them up over here. And not a ton of retro stuff, but um, I'm trying to think how exactly I want to want to show them off. We might as well get the retro stuff going, um, or maybe I should do stuff that I got for um, my birthday. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah, okay, so I got... Three, and these are the pretty much the only retro games in the entire video. Um, the first one is a Sega Saturn game, the lone Sega Saturn game, and it is uh, uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2. Um, now, I haven't played this, actually. Um, this was this was pretty cheap, actually. I'm trying to f think of how much it actually cost. I want to say 15 which is actually like half of what it typically goes for, uh, is, if my memory serves me. But, um... Unfortunately, the, the manual is kind of water damaged, so I'd like to get a new manual in the future. But for now, it, it does does just fine. Uh, like I said, haven't played it, but you know, I, I don't know. admittedly, I'm not the biggest Street Fighter fan. But um, if I'm going to play some sort of retro fighter, it's probably going to be a Street Fighter game, um, or at the very least, a Capcom fighter, because um, they just did it right. And why don't, we, why don't we go ahead and move from that to this, which I'm actually a lot more excited to have than, um, than that one for the Dreamcast. Who knew a Dreamcast game? It's a Marvel vs. Capcom first one. Um, absolute blasphemy, but I haven't played it yet, and I've had it quite a while. I haven't played it yet, but I really do want to play this, because um, this era of Capcom fighting games around the time that this game was made are the most appealing to me. And I mean, I'm not a big fighter fan, but um, these just look like a lot of fun. Um, looking at the back of the box here, it just looks cool. I didn't know that Mega Man was in this game. I didn't know that, so that's cool too. I'm not a big Mega Man fan, of course, but that's a nice addition. I didn't know he was in here. Um, so yeah, we got Marvel vs. Capcom. This was $10 at a, at a game store, which I thought was extremely, extremely well priced. And then at the same game store, um, was this game for the GameCube, and it's the sort of a game that eh, I was sort of like, okay, if I see it, I'll pick it up, but it's not really anything that I'm um, after. And it makes it the third Capcom game in a row, and it's Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Um, it contains Mega Man 1 through 8, and then has two other Mega Man games that were never before released in the U.S. Okay, let's, let's read what it says. It says, play the original Mega Man 1 through 8 and two never before released US arcade games. Okay, so they're arcade games on your GameCube. So, um, so that's pretty cool. This was like, I think, $7, so I thought that was a fair price. And, um, 
can make it like one through eight. I already have. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four. I don't have five. I have six, seven, and eight. So I have all of these already except for five. But um, but I thought that was cool. Plus it comes with the two bonus games. So this was also a complete game. Sticker on the inside. I thought that. But yeah. So those were um, unfortunately the only retro games that I got the entire. Um, this whole video. Um, I'll go ahead and show you this. I decided that um, I was at work one day and I was I just headed out and I usually check the video games before I leave just, just to see what's out. And um, they had their magazines up and I know Nintendo Power is um, pretty much uh, coming to an end. Their last issue has just come out. But um, I haven't picked it up yet though I plan on it. I did get the second to last issue mainly because it focuses all on the Wii U. And at the time I got this the Wii U hadn't come out so these are all previews and not reviews or anything. But but um, I decided to get it, um, and also it came with these some um, Kid Icarus AR cards for the 3DS. I might just keep these sealed and not show them. I don't use AR cards for the 3DS very often, um, but, um, but it came with those, so that was a cool addition. But um, this pretty much details all the Wii U launch games, and it comes with some Paper Mario Sticker Star stickers. So I thought that was neat. What else does it come with? No poster, unfortunately. But did you see the cover of um, the last Nintendo Power? It's basically a, like a newer representation of the original Nintendo, Nintendo Power cover. Okay, so um, just real quick, here are um, all the Wii U games that I got with my Wii U. Now, if you've watched the review and everything, you've already seen these, so I'll just go real quick. In alphabetical order, Assassin's Creed 3, a game that I like least, or I like less every time I play it for some reason. Darksiders 2, a game I like more every time I play it. New Super Mario Bros. U, a game I like the minute I put it in and I beat it all the way through and loved it. Um, Nintendo Land, the deluxe edition um, pack-in title. It, actually, this game is a blast with um, with friends. It really is. By yourself, it's okay, but with friends, this game's a hell of a, hell of a, hell of a good time. Um, Zombie U, um, just an okay game. Nothing spectacular, not bad by any means, but it's um, it's a, it's pretty decent. Um, and then Scribble Knots Unlimited, a pretty cool game. Um, a little on the easy side, and um, I, I haven't played this in a few days. It's not exactly, it doesn't exactly have a huge lasting appeal, but but that's a cool game. Um, Zombie or um, Scribble Notes I got on sale Black Friday for uh, I think it was fifty bucks, so it was ten bucks off. But um, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And one more game uh, for the Wii. I got an original Wii game, and I actually got this game the same day I got these these three. So and um, I heard great things about this game, and I had never picked it up. Um, and it's, it was very cheap. I think it was like it was like five or seven dollars somewhere in that area. It's a uh, Miramasa, Miramasa the Demon Blade, um, and this is actually a side-scroller, but it's um, very interesting. I played only a little bit of it. Um, it reminded me, oddly, of Okami, just the whole art style, I guess the Japanese look of it. And this is complete as well, um, but this is a really cheap game. You always hear people saying great things about it, so if you, if you see this out there, pick it up, pick it up. Um, really no motion controls, it's all just that. You just, I think, I'm pretty sure you hold the Wiimote sideways. And it's all like button, just button pressing. So no motion in this one, which is a uh, which is a nice change of pace sometimes. All right, just two more things, um, two more Black Friday deals. Um, the first one is a movie. It was for seven bucks, brand new. Prometheus, great movie. Really enjoyed it. Watched it again, and um, it's definitely better in the theaters. I would say just because of um, watching in HD on the big screen is a lot more be a lot better than. Just watching it on my Xbox, but but um, still, nonetheless, a great movie. And then the very last thing was my last E or not E3, my last um, Black Friday purchase, and that was Mortal Kombat: The Complete Edition for uh, twenty dollars. So um, I thought that was a good deal, and I've always wanted to get this, and I figured I should just go ahead and get the Complete Edition instead of um, the standard one. Yeah. So that is everything. Now, like I said, there was not very much retro stuff in this video, but um, and I don't know. Um, I've kind of lost a little bit of desire for um, collecting because right now, and, and it's very funny because I watched Ball and Nick's video today on his um, new games that he got, a pickup studio, and 
he had mentioned the exact same thing, and I'm sort of feeling the same way. Is that, you know, I obviously I, I love my collection, I love having it, I'm not getting rid of it. But right now I'm not really going after any games other than the ones that I want to play. Um, which isn't very many right now. The only one that's really coming out of my coming to mind is Batman Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U, that's one. And the uh, retro one is Marvel Superheroes for the Saturn. I absolutely really want to get that game. But other than that, it's really not much um, going on as far as games that I want to get or collect. So, I mean, I'm not giving up collecting or anything like that. So, But, um, but yeah, that's everything. So that's the end of this video, guys. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to check out those videos that I recommended. So we'll see you next time. And until then, take care.